Hi everybody, this is Walter Resendez with Access Electric and today I want to talk to you about Power Factor. What exactly is Power Factor? Well, we're going to talk about that and we're going to learn how to correct it. So here we have a DC circuit. We have a DC power source. We have a switch. We have an inductor and we have an ammeter. And in this circuit, once the switch closes, you can see current is flowing through the conductor, through the inductor, and it's creating this magnetic field. Once the inductor is saturated, you can see the ammeter rises. So let's watch that again. The switch closes, magnetic field is being created, current is flowing, but it takes some time to make it through the inductor and through to the ammeter where it's registering and then finally back to the source. So why does it take so much time? Well, it takes time because this electromagnetic field, this, uh, this uh, magnetic field that's being created around the inductor is creating something called a counter EMF. It is countering the flow of current through the inductor. Now, once the inductor becomes saturated, current will flow and will close the circuit or will complete the circuit. Current will flow and complete the circuit. So it is the change of direction in current which causes this inductor to create counter EMF. So in a DC circuit, once that thing is saturated, the circuit will flow. It'll, it'll act just like it's a conductor uh, from the positive, ter positive terminal with some resistance through to the negative terminal. But if this was an AC circuit, current would be flowing back and forth. The positive and negative terminals on that battery would be switching back and forth 60 times a second here in the United States. So every time it switches sides, 60 times a second, there would be an opposition to the change in current flow. So it would not allow the current to flow the other direction, at least for a very a fraction of a, of a second, it wouldn't allow the current to flow the other direction. Though voltage immediately changes direction. So there is a lag between the current and the voltage. The current will lag the voltage in an, in an inductive circuit like this one. So I'm going to show you my iPad and on my iPad is a purely resistive circuit. Right now you can see the has, it has an AC power source. It's changing polarity. Uh, I mean, I've slowed it down for you, but this would happen 60 times a second would go back and forth. Uh, and every time it changes polarity, you can see the waveform going from from uh, you can see the waveform it rises and it falls it goes past zero it falls to negative then it goes back up to positive and the green waveform is the voltage waveform the purple waveform is the current waveform and in a resistive circuit voltage and current are in the exactly the same phase they both rise and they both fall. They both reach zero and they both reach their peaks, reach their peaks at the same exact time. But in an, in an inductive circuit, here it also make the switch. In an inductive circuit, you can now see that the waveform has changed where the voltage is actually leading the current. The current is lagging the voltage. Uh, so it is that phase shift that creates what we call power factor. And that's resent, represented by a power triangle like this, a right angle triangle, uh, where this would be our wattage, this would be our volt amperage, and it's this right here, which is the inductive reactance that's happening, which creates this sh shift. And it's this angle represents the amount of shift happening in our circuit. So the point of power factor correction is to find out how much this angle is and what we have to do, what we can do to reduce that phase shift and to get our circuit back into phase. So here I'll add some capacitance 
to our circuit and now we're back in phase. And so the point of this video is to explain what power factor is. In episode number two, in part two, we're gonna talk about how to calculate how much power factor is in a circuit, how, how much that phase shift has occurred, and then what we can do to correct it. So if you've enjoyed this video, press the subscribe button. If you wanna be notified of more videos like this, click on the bell and we'll see you in the next video.